Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Chemphili. I am Dr. Mala Das Sharma, retired professor of St. Pius 10th degree and PG college for women, Hyderabad. Using this platform Chemphili, I am going to teach different topics of all branches of chemistry by adopting a self-designed innovative teaching methodology, teaching chemistry through readings. For this video number four, the riddle is framed on the special characteristics of an organic compound along with two important organic reactions. The primary objective of making this series of videos is to generate interest in chemistry among the students and making a wider spread of this teaching learning model for the benefit of the students across the globe. Hope I will receive the support and encouragement from the viewers to fulfill my objectives. Now start riddle number 4. What is the riddle? I am a ring structured liquid compound embedded with electron cloud. I have a group with lone pair of electron that can weakly attract proton. Certain foreign groups when present in my structure enhances my ability to attract the electron loving species while the certain others make the reverse effect. One of my reaction product is highly useful in synthetic organic chemistry. A well known reaction of me with that product is used in dye industry. Now we see the questions. The primary question is Who am I? Guess the answer of the primary question. Now we see the answer. The answer is aniline. The other questions are question number two. Why the group present in me have weak attraction towards proton in spite of possessing lone pair of electron? Number three, mention the groups which can enhance my ability to attract electron loving species and also the groups that make reverse effect. Number four, which reaction product of me is highly useful in synthetic organic chemistry? Name the well-known reaction used in dye industry. This reveal is framed to explain the basic character of aniline and then the reactions of aniline like diazotization reaction followed by coupling reaction. Now Lewis base. What are Lewis base? Lewis bases, they contain the lone pair of electron that can be donated to proton. Now the basic strength of the Lewis base depends on two factors. Number one, availability of the pair of electron which can be donated to proton because if the availability of electron is more, they can donate easily. So, it depends on the availability of pair of electron which can be donated to proton. Number two, stability of the cation formed after donation of the pair of electron to proton. We will explain all these things. Now, ammonia and amines, they have lone pair of electron on nitrogen atom. So, they are Lewis base. Here we will discuss the basic strength of aromatic amine that is aniline. The aniline formula is C6H5CH2 uh, sorry NH2 and this is the structure. Now we see here aniline this lone pair of electron takes part in resonance with the benzene ring and these are the resonating structures. 
This lone pair comes here, here it will move, then negative charge comes here, here it will move, then again negative charge goes here and then these are the polar resonating structure and this and these are non-polar resonating structure. Now in the polar resonating structures, positive charge is present on nitrogen atom. So, lone pair of electron on nitrogen atom of aniline cannot be easily donated to proton. That means availability of lone pair of electron on nitrogen atom of amino group of aniline takes part in resonance with benzene ring thereby this lone pair of electron are not easily available to the proton. So, the order of the basic strength is primary amine, not only primary amine, aliphatic amines. Here I have taken the example of primary amine. Aliphatic amines are more basic than ammonia and ammonia is more basic than aniline. Now, this low basic strength of aniline can also be explained from the comparison of the stability of aniline and anilinium cation. Already I told that basic strength of Lewis base depends on two factors. One is availability of lone pair of electron. Number two, the stability of the cation formed. Here from aniline, this anilinium cation is formed. So unlike aniline, this anilinium cation is not resonance stabilized. Here you are getting only two calculus structure. But in aniline, it is the resonance hybrid of all these structures. Therefore, anilinium cation is less stable than aniline. Every system has a tendency to gain the stability. So, if it converts to anilinium cation, means that if aniline becomes anilinium cation, then its stability decreases. Therefore, this uh, tendency to form this cation is less or this anilinium cation is less stable because no resonance participation or no resonance stabilization possible for anilinium cation which is possible for aniline. So, considering both factors, we have seen that aniline is a weak base, means weaker compared to aliphatic amine and ammonia. Now, we will discuss about the basic strength of substituted aniline. If in the aniline molecule any electron releasing substituent present, then basic strength of aniline increases, whereas electron withdrawing substituent like nitro group decreases the basic strength. Electron releasing substituent means like methyl group, methoxy group, o, uh, OH group, they increase the basic strength of aniline. Next point, the ortho substituted anilines, that means if the substituents present are in ortho position, they are always, that substituted anilines are always weaker based compared to aniline, irrespective of the nature of the substituent, whether it is electron releasing or electron withdrawing. If any group is present in ortho position with respect to amino group, then basic strength of aniline decreases. That is called ortho effect. And next point is the effect of substituents are more marked when they are present ortho and para position with respect to amino group compared to meta position. We will see. Now, we will compare the basic strength of this following compounds. So, this is paramethyl aniline. This is aniline. It is paranitroaniline. 
See, paramethyl aniline, it has the electron releasing group methyl group at the para position. Methyl group releases electron by plus I effect. Therefore, this availability of lone pair on the nitrogen atom of amino group in aniline increases and the paramethyl aniline becomes more basic than aniline. When coming to para nitro aniline, then this nitro group attracts the electron density from benzene ring through minus I, that is minus inductive effect, minus mesomeric effect and minus electromeric effect. Therefore, this lone pair of electron, it takes part in resonance with the benzene ring and it is extended to nitro group also. And availability of lone pair is further decreased. Therefore, para nitro aniline is less basic than aniline. So, the order is paramethyl aniline is most basic, then aniline, then paranitro aniline. Coming to this example, this is paramethyl aniline, aniline, it is orthomethyl aniline. You have to apply ortho effect here. Any substituents present in the ortho position with respect to amino group in aniline decreases the basic strength of aniline. So, this paramethyl aniline is most basic here, then aniline, then orthomethyl aniline. This ortho effect is due to the, it is caused by the steric hindrance. Now, coming to this example. This is aniline, this is metanitroaniline and this is paranitroaniline. Nitro group is electron withdrawing group. Therefore, in both the cases, metanitroaniline and paranitroaniline, this availability of lone pair of electron on nitrogen atom decreases. So, both of them are less basic than aniline. Now, if we compare metanitroaniline and paranitroaniline, this nitro group in paranitroaniline, it attracts the electron density by minus I effect, minus M effect, minus E effect. So, electron density are more strongly attracted by nitro group when it is in para position. So, availability of the lone pair of electron on nitrogen atom is decreased and it is least basic. But when it is in meta position, that means nitro group is in meta position with respect to amino group, then this nitro group can attract electron density only by minus I effect. Resonance participation of this amino group through benzene ring to nitro group is not possible when nitro group is present in para, sorry, meta position with respect to amino group. So, here electron density is attracted only by minus I effect. Therefore, compared to paranitroaniline, metanitroaniline is more basic. And both of them are less basic than aniline. Now, coming to the reactions of aromatic amines with nitrous acid, that is diazotization reaction. Very important. Aniline when treated with nitrous acid, the nitrous acid is formed in the medium that is by adding sodium nitrite and hydrochloric acid at very low temperature, 0 degree centigrade. Then benzene diazonium salt is formed and this is the cation of the salt which we call benzene diazonium cation. This the benzene diazonium cation or aromatic diazonium salts are stable but aliphatic diazonium cation is unstable because this aromatic diazonium cation is stabilized by resonance. These are the resonating structure. See the resonating structure. Electron density is moved and then here positive charge and here positive charge and then finally here positive charge. 
and finally this is the structure that means this is these are the structures originating structures of diazonium cation aromatic diazonium cation so aromatic diazonium cation is stabilized by resonance and moreover this diazonium salt it has great importance in synthetic organic chemistry why because this group can be easily removed or easily substituted by different substituent this group what like example suppose if you treat this diazonium salt with hypophosphorus acid in presence of q plus ion this group is replaced by hydrogen that means you will get benzene similarly if you treat diazonium salt with q plus chloride this group will be replaced by chlorine you will get chlorobenzene if you treat it with q plus bromide this will be replaced by bromine you will get bromobenzene if you heat diazonium salt with potassium iodide it will be replaced by iodine that means you will get iodobenzene similarly if you treat it with excess boiling sulfuric acid it will be replaced by oh group so you'll get phenol like that you can replace or substitute substitute this group by a large number of groups that means you can synthesize the different compounds from this aromatic diazonium salt that's why it has great synthetic importance now this is the mechanism of this diazotization reaction from nitrous acid with water it forms this nitroso uh, cation and then look at here this is this aniline and this lone pair of electron is coming here so nitrogen is getting the positive charge this h plus is removed you are getting this structure and then what happened h plus is added to this lone pair of electron so oxygen will become positive so this electron pair is moving here and then this h plus is removed then you are getting the diazo hydroxide once again h plus will be added to this lone pair of electron of oxygen so oxygen will get the positive charge and then it will remove this part will be removed as water and this lone pair will form the triple bond here and this is the resonance structure so this is the mechanism of diazotization reaction. Now coming to the coupling reaction. This diazonium salt reacts with active aromatic compound like amines, that is aniline, phenol, etc. Active aromatic compound means the aromatic compounds or you can consider benzene ring which contains active group that can activate the benzene ring towards electrophilic substitution reaction like amino group, phenolic OH group, etc. And it forms, that means diazonium salt on reaction with active aromatic compounds form strongly colored azo compound. Formula is C6H5N double bond N C6H5. And this reaction is known as the coupling reaction. This reaction is used in dye industry to prepare the red color dye. Coupling reaction with phenol. Already I told coupling reaction takes place with active aromatic compound. Phenol is active aromatic compound because in presence of phenolic OH group, the benzene ring gets activated. Now, Coupling of phenol occurs in weakly alkaline media and coupling reaction with amines occurs in weakly acidic medium. Now, coupling occurs at the para position of the active group. Suppose phenol is there, coupling will occur para position with respect to OH group. And if the para position is blocked, then this coupling takes place at the ortho position. Now we see. 
So this is diazonium cation, benzene diazonium cation. This is actually diazonium chloride. Coupling reaction with phenol and the compound is parahydroxy azobenzene which is an orange color dye with amine that is aniline the compound is para amino azobenzene which is a yellow color dye now this mechanism of coupling reaction coupling reaction look at here this is the diazonium cation and this is from the phenol this phenoxide ion is formed so it is negative charge resonance participation negative charge is coming here then it will go finally through here through this position para position it attacks this nitrogen atom so this bonded electron pair shifted to this nitrogen it was positively charged earlier so you will get this compound now what will happen this hydrogen will be removed as H plus and that means OH minus one will take this H plus and this electron pair will be moved and finally you will get this compound which is the azobenzene. Here it is parahydroxy azobenzene. Now coming to the optimum pH for coupling reaction. Now in alkaline medium this diazonium cation it forms the diazonium hydroxide which can undergo coupling reaction but if you make the medium more alkaline highly alkaline then diazohydroxide is formed which does not couple and finally sodium diazotate is formed that also does not couple okay now we consider the coupling reaction with phenol now at high pH highly alkaline medium this concentration of diazonium hydroxide will be less concentration of this diazohydroxide and sodium diazotate will be more which is not favorable condition for coupling reaction. So it will not occur at highly alkaline medium. But if the medium is not alkaline, medium is acidic, then phenoxide ion will not form. We know that phenoxide ion is more reactive than phenol. This is phenoxide ion. Alkaline medium phenoxide ion is formed. Okay. So, if the medium is acidic, then phenoxide ion will not form and phenol is less reactive. So, therefore, optimum pH for the coupling reaction with phenol is 9 to 10. Okay. It is not highly alkaline and it is not acidic also. Now coming to coupling with aniline. In acidic medium, what happened? Anilinium cation is formed, which is not favorable for coupling reaction. You have seen the mechanism also. And if the medium is highly alkaline, the concentration of diazonium hydroxide decreases. That is also not favorable condition. So, optimum pH for the coupling reaction with aniline is 4 to 5. Now coming to the answers of the remaining questions. Question number 2. Why the group present in me have weak attraction towards proton in spite of possessing lone pair of electrons? You know the answer. Because this lone pair of electron or nitrogen atom of amino group in aniline participates in resonance with the benzene ring. So, they are not easily available to proton. Third question. Mention the groups which can enhance my ability to attract electron loving species and also the group that make reverse effect. So, you know, electron releasing groups like methyl group, methoxy group, OH group, phenolic OH group increase the basic strength of aniline, whereas electron attracting group like nitro group decreases the basic strength. Now, question number four Which reaction product of me is highly useful in synthetic organic chemistry? 
name the well-known reaction used in dye industry. So, the answer is, first answer, first part answer is benzene diazonium salt. This reaction product highly useful in synthetic organic chemistry. And the well-known reaction is coupling reaction. So, this was our riddle number 4. Your comment and suggestions will be highly appreciated.